Benvenuti, amici. Welcome to Isabella's Bella Cucina. My name is Isabella Morgia di Vicari, and I'm going to teach you how to make breaded chicken with eggplant and mozzarella, as I would call it, polo parmigiana with melanzana, all right, which is the Italian version of chicken with eggplant and mozzarella. So let's get started. The very first thing I want to show you is a restaurant trick that I learned many, many years ago. You ever wonder why when you go out sometimes to a really nice restaurant and their chicken is so tender, but when you make it at home, it does nothing for you? Well, I'm going to show you why. All right, I got to tell you one of my most favorite things in my pantry is a cereal bag. Yes, a cereal bag. Watch what I do with this thing. I'm gonna take these breasts of chicken. I'm gonna put them in there. One more piece. Let's give myself some room here. Watch this. All of you, if you don't have a maleta that looks like this, you need to go out and get one. A little Mickey Mouse maleta doesn't do the trick. Now watch, there it is. Turn it around. and you have some beautiful chicken that has been pounded. It's gonna be very tender. And what do you see when you taste it? So what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna go into three different bowls, but let me beat this egg up just a little. I've got about two eggs here. Season it, of course. Now remember, everything that you use needs to be seasoned. Got a little bit of Romano cheese here, and I'm actually gonna put the Romano cheese in the breadcrumb mixture. And some fresh herbs. I'm gonna cut that up, chop them up, and put them in the breadcrumbs as well. Now you can put them in the eggs, you can put them in the breadcrumb. You just wanna get it in there. I'm gonna put them in the breadcrumbs right now, because I like that beautiful green trunks, chunks of herbs. Okay. Got a nice piece of chicken, and it's going into, oops, see, I messed that one up. Let's try this again. You're going from the flour to the egg to the breadcrumb. So let's move this over just a little so I got it in the right order. And when you use the flour, herb, and breadcrumb um, system here, you get a really nice, crusty chicken. So you got the flour, you got the egg, And then you're going into, then you're going into the breadcrumbs. Got a lot of green on there, but that's how I like it. Okay, right into the plate. Two more pieces. You're gonna go into the flour again. The egg mixture, oh, that's my stove telling me it is ready. Into the breadcrumb. Here we go. And one more piece. You know, the reason I use that cereal bag is because you know what, if I were to use just a regular old plastic bag, it would break up pretty easily, especially the way I pound things. All right, here we go. Okay, let's get this in here, bread it really well. Okay. Put this in here, I want a little more breading on that side. All right, that's the hardest part right there. Now we're gonna take this beautiful chicken, we're gonna go to the frying pan, put a beautiful brown coating on there, put it in the oven, and you'll see what happens next. So let's get to the stove. Okay, so we've got our chicken breaded. I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil in this pan. Got the pan on pretty high, I had it preheating as we were getting ready. Now, all I wanna do is put a nice crust on this chicken. 
not even gonna worry about it being cooked all the way through. I just want a nice crust. Now you can hear that sizzle. Look at that beautiful piece right there. Okay, now, as that is browning on this side, again, I'm not gonna be concerned about this chicken cooking all the way through, because all I wanna do is put this, and get a nice brown coating on both sides, nice and crispy. Then I'm gonna take it right back, and I'm actually gonna get the marinara, and I'm gonna get the eggplant, and I'm gonna put it all together and put it in the stove, in the oven, excuse me. Now, look at this beautiful, crusted chicken. Now, it looks good enough to eat, but guess what? It's still not done, so we're not gonna touch it just yet. What I don't want you to do is to eat raw chicken and get sick on me. So here we go. I got a nice little pan that'll go in the oven. And I coat the bottom of it with a little sauce. My marinara, of course. And remember, to, don't forget to go to foodwithpassion.com and find Chef Isabella's marinara sauce right there. So here we go. We have the sauce on the bottom. Got a bit of beautiful piece of chicken right here. Got another piece here and one more right there. And guess what? That eggplant, remember I told you about that eggplant? All I did was, as you can see, I sliced this eggplant in rounds. And I literally, with a very little olive oil, literally gave it some color, seasoned it with a little salt, and it's ready. So let me get a fork a moment. So I'm gonna put a piece of eggplant right on the top. This is actually one of my mother's favorite signature dishes. She loves to make eggplant with the chicken parmigiana. Now, I'm gonna take that marinara sauce again, gonna to top it on the top. Just like that, a little more sauce in that corner, a little more there. Ah, let's finish it up. It's beautiful. Gonna add a little bit of Romano cheese. Don't forget the beautiful mozzarella. A little bit there, a little bit here, and a little more there. I'm gonna bake this in the oven, 350 degrees till it's hot and bubbly, and I would say probably 20 to 30 minutes max, uncovered, and wait till you see when it comes out. Now look at this beautiful uh, breaded chicken with the eggplant and mozzarella parmigiana. Now let me tell you something, I would actually go straight from the oven to the table with this dish. Notice these beautiful dishes that you can get anywhere, any Pyrex, any Courtney Ware, whatever it is that you like to use, make sure you plate that right there or fix it right there when you put it in the oven because that's one less dish that you have to wash. My family just absolutely loves this chicken parmigiana with eggplant and your family will too. Vivere bene amici. Live well, my friends. Ciao.